Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at Martyr's Mirror and one of the stories out of the book Martyr's Mirror. You can find this book on Amazon or eBay and I believe it's the Mennonite church that holds it in high regard next to the Bible because it is a descriptive account of different Christians throughout the centuries. So today we're going to be reading about these two young ladies here which were executed in the bishopric of Bamberg in 1550 AD. And I want you to take note of the, the two wreaths sitting on the ladies' heads as that is important in the story. So we're going to read here starting at the top. Two young girls about A.D. 1550. About the year 1550, it happened in the bishopric of Bamberg that two young girls espoused and received Christ by faith, were baptized upon their faith according to the doctrine of Christ, and arising from sin sought to walk in newness of life with Christ. On this account, the anti-Christians sought to hinder them in this good resolution and to quench their good intention as much as lay in their power. They therefore cast these two young lambs into prison, where they tortured them with great severity, and sought also with other unchristian means to cause them to apostatize. But as they were firmly built upon Christ, they remained steadfast, they remained faithful, excuse me, and steadfast during the entire trial. Hence the authorities who herein generally follow the advice of the false prophets, condemned them to death, at which they were joyful and undaunted. When they were led out to execution, their persecutors, by way of reproach and mockery, placed wreaths of straw upon their heads, whereupon one said to the other, Since the Lord Christ wore a crown of thorns for us, why should not we wear these crowns of straw in honor of him? The faithful God shall for this place a beautiful golden crown and glorious wreath upon our heads. Thus these two young branches, armed of their captain Jesus, remained, excuse me, thus these two young branches armed themselves with patience according to the example of their captain Jesus, remained faithful unto death, died steadfastly, and obtained, through grace, a glorious crown with God in heaven. To these girls, their adversaries, accord the praise that they died quite undoubtedly and steadfastly and that they had the true foundation and ground of the Christian faith and their Redeemer Christ Jesus whom they openly confessed and called upon in their distress wherein they steadfastly died with a firm hope so that doubts were entertained among their adversaries as to whether they themselves were not in greater error before God than these young girls though they were Anabaptists. He that wishes may read with regard to this account, Johannes Manlius, printed at Frankfurt, 1550. So as we can see, these young ladies apparently were persecuted, tortured, and put to death in Bamberg in the year 1550 for their faith in Jesus Christ. An example of historic events that those who claim to be secular humanists back then, persecuted those who believed in Jesus Christ. 